that, that actually really hurts. How's it going guys, it's DMG here and today we are gonna be looking at the Icon Moments Michael Bollock card. Now I did not pay a thousand euros for this Icon Moments, I in fact just did the loan card just so we could test them out and that's honestly something that I hope EA continue to do for not just Icons but for other cards is to do these loans because this, this is something that's actually good for people who actually want to try and test out a player to see if they actually want to get him or not. Now what's different about the Moments card Bollock compared to his all of his other cards Cards, actually is that he went from medium high work rates from his from his all of his other cards to actually high medium work rates and his other cards are also center mid some some that are more you know box to box maybe even defensive minded players this one is more of an attack minded player who at least has some defensive capabilities so again right you you look at his stats compared to his other cards his defending did not get nearly as big of a boost uh, compared to the other stats that he has so um he still has the four star four star which is great but again like i said with the work rates it goes from medium high to high and medium the actual stats are actually pretty good the shooting the passing the physical are actually all very good the fact that he's 6'2 and he doesn't have a lean body type mixed with this agility and balance and, and dribbling means that he's not going to be very great on the ball so you know him playing as a cam is not going to really be the best case scenario for him more so as a holding center mid uh maybe even a defensive mid that goes forward some Somewhere where he is plays in a deep role and then goes forward because if he's already in that attacking position that means he's going to be on the ball more often than you would want him to be now before we get into the video make sure to like subscribe if you haven't already and give me suggestions about who you want me to review but nevertheless let's get into a game and see how this man plays we are going to be playing him in kind of like a center mid role that either just kind of stays forward or a defensive mid that goes forward so looking at the team obviously the Rashford Conte Mbappe Varane Mendy players of course he also has Bollock but I believe it is uh, one of the lesser Bollocks, the 89, the mid-icon Bollock, I believe. Now, Bollock, your name is one letter away from being an insult, so you better do well or else I'm going to start calling you that. Obviously, dribbling-wise, he's not going to be very good. That's something that I think we kind of all expected, even with the engine that we put on him. Okay, Bollock again. What can you do? What can you do? Okay, the four-star skills are kind of odd on a player this clunky. Okay, Bollock, he does get back pretty well, actually, considering the fact that he has the high-medium work rates. Okay, he makes a good run. Okay, we're just gonna bang it. Oof! Okay, Bollock, give me something. Give me something. Okay, he goes to the top of the box. That ain't bad. Oh my! Yo, this, this Bollock, this Bollock, uh, you know, he's kind of got something here. Okay, I like how Bollock runs right there. He runs with me. He's probably, uh, is he off? Yeah, he is just offside. Now, surprisingly, Bollock is actually running kind of low on stamina here. I mean, he's a lot lower than almost anyone else on the field, which is odd considering he's got 91 stamina. So, end of the first game, and Bollock so far has been good, but nothing, like, stand out, right? I don't know if he if he should be anything too crazy. I mean, he was definitely man of the match for sure, apparently. He got a 9-0 rating. He got a goal, which was good. Uh, passes 22 of 23, so most most involved there. Maybe I was under, maybe I'm underestimating him a little bit. <sighs> Next game, Mendy Varan, Neymar, Walker, Pope. Always Rashford. Always, literally, always. All right, we're gonna switch to a 3-5-2. I want to see how he plays in a defensive mid role. Oh, and Andy Bridges. And Andy Bridges, he's really good. He's re he's really really good, guys. He is a top tier player because he knows how to abuse a broken mechanic in the game he's got that passing man look at that he, he makes a great run in probably should have waited a little bit but god damn that was quite good fair enough bollock oh my god pope bollock doesn't is, isn't great with, uh, with dribbling obviously but the four star skills make it so he can maneuver past a few players it's another bridge another bridge What am I supposed to do, man? Does Bollock have good penalties? He actually does. We don't even do anything with his shooting either. That's just how good his penalties are. <laughs> You're not gonna stop Bollock's penalties, man. You can't. It's it's impossible. It's not allowed. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. He's got he's got everyone back. Oh, and that's a goal for Dabala. Thank you very much. And that's gonna be another assist for Bollock. He's he like he's he's the perfect player for that position. Oh, 
Oh my god, yeah, dude, he's he's so big. Oh my god, don't know how or what. <laughs> I don't care. That should have been an assist for Bollock. That shouldn't have been it. Please quit. Please quit. Please quit. Thank you very much. Bollock, Deco, Nedviad, all with 10.0 ratings. Nedviad, Deco with two goals, along with the ball and Bollock with one. Bollock with an assist. Deco, Nedviad, also with assists, along with Duncan and Dalo. But again, that last part, that last shot, I don't know if that was an assisted block from Varon but I assume it was because this guy's not good and Varon. However, that was still very, very good play from Bollock. Again, with that engine, he's able to go around players because he is decently with pace, right? Because he gets boosted. He has that amazing physical and he's got that good height on him. So, I mean, and he obviously has the dribbling as well, at least stat-wise, to go along with it. So he can hold off players and then he can dink a ball in if you really need to. Finally, into the last game here, and we got Pope Smalling. Uh, Diego Carlos, I mean, honestly, it's a little bit different. I, I can appreciate that, right? Acuna, Diego Carlos, Smalling. Um, obviously, Neymar is the same, Pope is the same, but Luis Figo, I mean, it, it's a little different. I can respect that. Hopefully, this guy's not a bum. Bollock, way to run back. There's some nice work right there. So we're trying him out at center mid, and so far, there have been a few problems, right? And I mentioned it before. Him being at center mid and going forward isn't the best because he might be a little bit... Oh, my God, please. No, are you... So like I said, him going forward so much isn't that great, not because he doesn't have good abilities going forward, but his dribbling is just really letting him down. So him playing defense amid and roaming forward is fantastic. Bollock? Oh my god. See, that's why. That's why him at defensive mid in a two defensive mid set is so good. Bollock, get there. Good man. Way to be there. Hit him up. Beautiful pass. Oh my god. See, okay. That's his spot. It's a good tackle. And that's mine. It all starts from Bollock's tackle. Can we go? Can we go? Can we score? Can we score? Yes, we can. And again, all starts from Bollock. That's why he's so perfect as a defensive mid. Oh man, like look at him. It's like there's a lanky little giraffe and he just he's he just shimmies past everyone just shalom's past sh sh shalom shalom no it's not shalom that's <laughs> that's not right i think this game really signifies what bollock is right he has a goal because he can shoot the ball he gets an assist because he can pass the ball he got four or five tackles which is the most in the team because he can defend he can literally do everything so after the three games bollock did get three goals and two assists and obviously that's very good from a defensive mid slash center mid standpoint and like i said before we really signified and and really solidified his spot on the field which is a defensive mid that goes forward because he that way he could obviously still go forward since he's you know supported by another defensive mid who's there uh because obviously his shooting his passing is very good his physical is very good he's got four star four star he's got high medium work rates his defending is still coming into play because he's a defensive mid but his dribbling doesn't come into play very often because he is a defensive mid because obviously the players who are center mids center attacking mids strikers they're the ones who are going to be on the ball more often Often. So, you know, that which which is good because we don't want Bollock on the ball and dribbling because of, you know, the fact that his actual dribbling and his agility and balance aren't very good. So comparing the price of Bollock on the market and for his SBC, it's actually not a huge difference, unfortunately. He's around 1.4 on PlayStation, 1.3 on Xbox, and then if you take a look at it, what his SBC is, it's around 1.2 on PlayStation, 1.1 on Xbox, meaning there's a 200k difference, which is not really that great, especially Especially if you consider the fact that Puyol's SBC is a 300k difference. You can see he's 390k on PlayStation for his SBC and he's 300 or 690k on the market. So it's around like half the price for his SBC for Puyol, which is fantastic value, right? That's, that's obviously amazing. So if you compare that to Bollock, where Bollock is literally double the price and the difference between his SBC and his price on the market is literally less than Puyol's, 
I mean, that's, that's not good value, unfortunately. Obviously, it's not up to me to decide for you guys if you complete this SVC or not. I'm just saying that the value of the SVC isn't as good as it probably should be. However, the card itself is very, very good if you play him in that defensive mid role that goes forward. So in a 4-2-3-1, he would be very good as the defensive mid that goes forward. In a, obviously, 3-5-2, which is what we played, the defensive mid that goes forward, obviously very good. So that is gonna do it for this this video guys hopefully you did enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching this has been dmg peace